Oh, right, I'm a bit of a play with this big day chinchilla. Like well, I think we've got a leak. Well, I've managed to climb in here just about. It's stuck in here. Um, what's that valve that was? Setting the leak detector off. I don't know if this is going to show up. You can just see a few little bubbles creeping out just between the where the equalising line goes on and where the um, I think that's the outlet. Hmm. We've just got to run this up and it won't start. Um, we checked in. There's no power coming in, the power coming in on the switch. So we have to look at the breaker or something. Put a quick check in the motor um, compressor windings and they look seem okay. I mean we've got a slightly different resistance on one but we just might not have had a very good connection on the um, where we were testing it. It's a bit of a beast. Two, three, four, five, eight cylinder. Some unloaders on there. <coughs> Another one. Um, that's the drain on there. You can see where it's sucking the water back in. I think it should have a should have a trap on it. Really. As soon as I do that, you can get out of the water. Let's see what happens. found this leak on the yeah oh distributor on another one looks like someone's uh I think they're KMPs yeah KMP seven eight five this is chiller number seven that we've looked at today it's got a really old reversing valve on it, which, um, which you can see is really oily. It's about to fire up, and it's all oil on the floor there. Leak on that, on oh, both those dryers. So that 
needs a new reversing valve, which is going to be uh, fun because this is a sort of spider shaped one. And that distributor right down there, I don't know if you can see it, that looks a bit wet, so we're going to take the end panel off and have a look at that as well. Bit of a change around all the pipework. 